Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. This is Maximum Gameplay, and uh, today a hot topic. Uh, it's uh, our love for video games and why we fall always into the trap of pre-ordering games before their release date. So let's talk about the reasons and the risks involved. Nothing is worse than spending around $60 of your cash that you sweat for it. Or sweat asking even your parents to give away on a new game. Only to be disappointed at the product after the launch and the release date. We've all been burned by bad games at one point or another. Publishers and developers overhyped their games. Media and gaming websites contributed to promote and hype consumers. This often happens by making bold promises and placing false hope into the minds and hearts of the poor victims in the only objective to fall into what is called the pre-ordering death trap. Here are a few of the worst offenders we've experienced in several years. The scenario is always the same. A new game is getting announced at a big event like E3, PAX, Gamescom, etc. You are told in advance by the websites that contributes a lot to the hype of that game and what the game will contain with several screenshots that displays amazing well-selected graphics. And the end result is you being instantly excited. Time passes and more information is being released gradually. Increasing your excitement, most of these websites claim passing the information as their duty remains. These professionals spread the information in a careful way, as to not upset the consumers by putting themselves most of the time on the consumer's side of being also hyped the same way you are. And fan theories steer the interest even more. Finally, perhaps after a delay or two, and if you've noticed, this is becoming a new marketing strategy to hype you even more claiming that they are working on patches to make the game perfect from day one. And this is becoming a very good marketing strategy so that you think that things are getting better and better to increase your chances for pre-ordering. The game is released, but ultimately fails to live up to your expectations. Sometimes something goes wrong and the game isn't as good as it could have been. Our deadlines get out of control and a game is rushed and unfinished. For one reason or another, Sometimes games themselves just fall victim to hype. We should also take into consideration that just because a game did not deliver on everything it said it would doesn't mean it was bad. A number of these games were still good, at least decent. They just did not deliver of everything they were meant to. So you must be asking yourself a question, is pre-ordering a good thing or not? Well, for this many gamers finds it a grey area. For some it's bad, as nowadays we've become increasingly encouraged to pre-order games anyway, even though we don't actually need to. On the other hand, they offer you incentives, such as additional items, exclusive content, probably maps or maybe the first DLC, by pre-ordering only. Also sometimes discounts that can go up to 20%. And the objective for publishers and developers is pretty simple. They want to secure their sales before anyone has the chance to warn you of it. And here we are talking about the post-release reviews. Over the last 10 years though, things got a little perverse. Unfinished games, huge number of DLCs that were not expected, expensive additional content and unfinished games. 
So shall we start pre-ordering? Pre-ordering is a choice. This is all depending on you and you only. You should take note as pre-ordering encourages publishers to continue a bad gaming industry habit. There will always be people pre-ordering. However, stay smart, wait, use some patience and this gets you like rewarded at the end of the day and maybe a small victory against those big players and their bad habits. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something out of this video. Maybe not. And I uh, would really appreciate your encouragement by subscribing, liking this video and sharing it with your friends. Until the next time, I hope I'm not gonna pre-order any.